Well, just finish the next step. You'll notice the white on the shaft. This thing is standing up by itself just simply from the bushing pressure from the PVC inside the uh, sides of the bearing. It gives me some uh, flexibility and leeway as far as how to lean the uh, legs on this to support it. You know, I'll get a little bit closer and um, a couple things I want to change on it, but uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'll wait until the end and there are the paddles. You notice I've got plenty of room there and you see the uh, connection where I have the uh, shaft and the pipe. This is the pipe adapter on the end for the swivel connection. Fits perfectly. The uh, shafting goes through. It's equal on both sides. This will all be where it will, uh, uh, water will flow through here smoothly from the other side, not the side that I'm on right now. And then the paddles will uh, be all the way around and uh, I've got two more inches to add on either side of the paddles at the bottom. So it will be within a couple of inches of the sides, an inch or so. Just enough room though, and it'll be a, able to be assembled in pieces. That's a way I've designed it and uh, ordered uh, if somebody wants to order it. I was thinking about changing the uh, restraints for the pipe on the side instead of the wood. I need to go a little bit lighter. I'd like to make it as light as possible. I can handle it myself, but <clears throat> so I was thinking about PVC and I was going to use the wire ties to uh, hold it down in place and at the very end use a uh, uh, a bolt and a uh, uh, pipe uh, set up so that it can be uh, uh, anchored down on the ends. I think it'll be uh, lighter and it'll give me a tube to transfer some uh, lighting wiring or whatever through it. And uh, then on the end, it'll give me something to uh, put an LED light in or something. And so when it turns, it's enclosed and not getting wet. But uh, <clears throat> This uh, uh, pressured on just right. I'm going to change the plastic PVC in to uh, a, uh, a metal one, brass, I think, so that we can resist uh, corrosion, water, other issues. Uh, we've got water running through this, and if we're going to take and pull it out and then filter it later, we don't want to add debris problems. I already have a galvanized pipe, uh, uh, some of it right now, but uh, mostly plastic. Yeah. You see, there's two galvanized T's. That's pretty. That's all of it, and I'm going to be coating that on the outside so that it won't rust. Uh, the uh, plumbing. I'm expecting some uh, leaks when we first started up. I have an idea where they're going to come from, but I'm ready to take and patch them up. This is a high lift spiral pump. Generates both air pressure and water pressure, and water supply and air supply. Uh, this one should pump up to over 60 feet. It's a high lift. It's a three coil uh, uh, pump that uh, delivers a very high efficiency from what it does. Uh, it should do about uh, between about two gallons a minute. Depends on the speed of the turning and such. But uh, even a slow one, uh, from what I've seen of the creek water and stuff, if you put a leaf or anything in the water and it uh, moves, let's say one foot in uh, one second. And uh, during in that foot, see that's, that's, that's taller than a, a gallon jug. And then you figure the, uh, the uh, area uh, across the water in the depth and you, you'll, you get an idea of how many gallons per minute is being moved through there. And that's the speed we can look at this uh, turning at that kind of a speed. So uh, things can be calculated. This should pump uh, exactly like the way I want it. And I've added a few engineering features in it from other uh, pumps and stuff. And uh, I'm getting closer to being done. She's standing on her own right now. I mean, without the uh, supports to hold it, it's square at the bottom. It's holding itself near square because the uh, tolerances I used were close enough and I could uh, uh, smooth them down and get it to work. And I've got some notched boards to add in now, which will add more strength to it being square and uh, make the assembly pretty straightforward and easy. Well, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever. Thanks.